start with a Google Sheets spreadsheet. I'm going to use Sheets.new. From there, you're going to want to create your graphic organizer or worksheet or what you want students to work on. What I will typically do is widen columns. I'm going to select the awesome box to select all, and I'm going to turn on Word Wrap. Text wrapping in a spreadsheet really helps when having students use Google Sheets to do their work. I'm going to turn on text wrapping. I'm going to put one and two, highlight these cells and drag it down so it automatically numbers. Resize this column so it looks like a numbering. And I'm going to want students to put their answers over here. So I am going to make those cells yellow. And I'm going to reserve teacher feedback over here. And so I'm going to make these cells light blue. So this allows students to put their response to the question in these cells. And then I have some space that I can put my answer. Now you can make your spreadsheet however you want. I'm going to write my questions. You can write whatever you want in there for your content. Create your document. Once you are finished, what you're going to want to do is go to the extensions menu and locate Sheet Pusher so you can set up your spreadsheet. Go ahead and add your student names and emails onto this spreadsheet. Once you have the names and email addresses, go back up to the extensions menu, go to Sheet Pusher, and you're going to want to create student sheets. This creates an in- Student spreadsheets are linked right on the Google Sheets, so you can open at any time and review student work. Students will have access to the spreadsheet through Google Drive, or you can share this spreadsheet with them as each link is shared individually with the students and they cannot see or access each other's links. Go to the extensions menu, go to Sheet Pusher, and you can update the range if you want to send updates from the worksheet. So let's say that are to add another question. I'm going to select that. I can highlight any range that I want to push, only have the one. And I'm going to go into Sheet Pusher and update that range. And it's going to add that question onto everyone's spreadsheet. So they're all updated, so let's take a look. I'm gonna look here on Carl's, and you can see that Carl now has this additional question that I have updated. So I started my worksheet to get them started, but I'm gonna add the additional questions later by using the Sheet Pusher, which allows me to update and push more questions to their spreadsheets. Now I'm also able to grab, so when I go to Sheet Pusher and Premium Features, I can pull from the student's spreadsheets. This is going to give me a new spreadsheet with each student's tab within the same spreadsheet. Pull from student sheets. And you can see that it's pulling from each student's spreadsheet. And then it creates a new spreadsheet. If you have pop-ups enabled, it will open in a new tab. And you'll see down here at the bottom that I have a tab for each student. So I can see what Bob responded, I can see what Javier responded, I can see what Maria responded. Now these are copies. Putting feedback on the student copies will not reach the student at all. So this is just intended to give you a snapshot of what each student work 
looks like. Now you have an additional option. Now I'm here on my master tab here for Sheet Pusher. And I wanna see what everyone put for what is the capital of Maine. So I can either select a cell or the row and I'm gonna go to extensions and Sheet Pusher. And this time I'm gonna choose row poll. So I wanna see just what is in this row. So I choose row poll. Yes. And you can see it is now pulling from these sheets, but it is doing it with that particular row. So it has made a new spreadsheet, but now notice it doesn't only have the roster, but it also has everyone's response to question number one. So I can easily see what everyone put for that particular question. Now, if you have the Autocrat add-on installed, you can now use Autocrat with this new merge sheet. So you will need to, this is the question number, this is the question, and this is the student response. You will need to add your own column headers for you to use with Autocrat. Now what Autocrat allows you to do is to merge these responses with a Google Doc to create a certificate or customized report. So you're gonna wanna go through all the setup of Autocrat in order to facilitate that. But using Sheet Pusher, you can have it prepared in a way that is usable for using with Autocrat.